Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to be solving equations with rational numbers. Let's get started. All right, let's get into our first example. Part A, negative 3 equals m minus 8. Now, just a quick reminder about uh, solving equations. We're always trying to get the variable alone. That's our goal. And anything you do to one side, you have to do to the other side uh, to make sure that it stays equivalent. Now, if this is your first time solving equations, check out this video up here. Those are going to show you the basics. Today, we're dealing with rational numbers as well. So there's going to be fractions, decimals, and both positive and negative numbers. Let's get started though. We're trying to get the variable alone. Here's the variable m. I'm not even gonna worry about this side, I'm focusing here. Well, m is being subtracted by eight, so to get rid of that minus eight, I do the inverse operation, which is plus eight. Anything I do to one side, I do the other, plus eight to both sides, that goes away. I'm left with m equals negative three plus eight would be Five. And always remember, the nice thing about equations is that you can always check your answer. So if I want to check, all I do is substitute this 5 back in for m, because I'm saying m is equal to 5. So my check, I'm saying is negative 3, that's my question mark, is it equal to 5 minus 8? And 5 minus 8 is negative 3, which is equal to negative 3. So we're happy about that. Okay, so there is my solution to that equation. Let's try B. W plus 3 halves equals 1 half. Again, I'm going to focus where that variable is. We're adding 3 halves to it. So to get rid of that 3 halves, I'm going to subtract 3 halves from both sides. Those go away, and I'm left with W equals 1 half minus 3 halves. If I want to show that work, if you're a little unsure, 1 half minus 3 halves, they already have common denominators, which is really nice. So it basically is just 1 minus 3 in the numerator, which is negative 2 over 2, which is the same as negative 1. So there is my solution. Here's some to try on your own. Okay, example 2. A company has a profit of $750 this week. This is $900 more than the profit P last week. Write an equation that can be used to find P. So when we have a word problem like this and we're trying to write an equation, the first thing we're looking for are keywords, right? So if you look here, hopefully more than jumps out at you. You also want to think, well, we're writing an equation. What's my variable going to be? Well, they tell us the profit P. P is going to be the variable. So I'm going to write P is my variable. And it's always important to know, well, what does that variable represent? The profit P last week. So P represents the profit last week. We know it's going to be an equation, so we're going to have an equal sign. Let's start to fill in the pieces. So company has a profit of $750 this week. This is $900 more than the profit P from last week. Well, more than is a keyword, and that means addition. So $900 plus P, right? More than means plus addition, plus P, this is the profit last week, right? Plus $900 is gonna be equal to the profit from last week, 750. So there is our equation. It didn't ask to solve it, so we're done there. Here's another problem to try on your own. Okay, example three, we've got a couple more equations to solve. Let's get after it. Uh, negative x over three equals negative six. Now with this, when they write the negative in front, it's hard to tell, well, is that negative on the x, the numerator, or is it on the denominator? And the truth is, it doesn't matter. I could write this as a negative x over three, or x over negative three. When I solve it, I would get the same thing, and I can prove it to you real quick. If I had it like this, negative x over 3 equals negative 6, well then I would multiply both sides by 3 to get the x alone, but I'd have negative x still, because that was a negative x in the numerator equals negative 18. 
well then how do I make this just x? Remember, negative x is like a negative 1x, so I could either multiply by a negative or divide by a negative 1 to both sides. Either way, it's basically just changing the sign. x equals 18. If I did it where uh, the negative is in the denominator, I would get x over negative 3 equals negative 6. And then I would do it in one step, multiply both sides by negative 3 to get x alone, and I get x equals 18. If you notice, there was one way that was one step quicker, and that's this way. When we do this problem, just put the negative in the denominator so that when I multiply by negative 3, the x is going to be alone. There won't be a negative x. So again, I'm trying to get the variable alone. So it's being divided by negative 3. So to undo that division, I use the inverse operation, which is multipl multiplication. Multiply both sides by negative 3 to keep it equivalent. Those cancel each other out, and I'm left with x equals negative times negative is going to be a positive 18. And if I substitute that back in, 18 divided by 3 is 6 with that negative. Negative 6 equals negative 6. Let's try the other one. 18 equals negative 4y. Again, I'm concentrating on the variable. y is being multiplied by negative 4. So to undo that, I divide by negative 4 to both sides. Those cancel out, and I get y equals 18 divided by negative 4. Just like we did here, we took the negative out from here and put it in the denominator. I can go the other way. I can just take this negative and put it out front because I know that my answer is going to be negative, and then I can just worry about this 18 over 4. So I know it's going to be negative. 18 over 4, we could simplify to 9 halves. But again, that's an improper fraction. I don't want that. So I've got two options. I could write it as a uh, mixed number or as a decimal. Uh, me, I'll just write it as a mixed number. So y equals 4 and a half. Again, you could have said y equals negative 4.5. Here's something to try on your own. All right, example four. This is our last example. Solve negative 4 fifths x equals negative 8. Same rules apply. I'm trying to get the variable alone. x is being multiplied by negative 4 fifths, so I should divide by negative 4 fifths. But with fractions, we know that dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So you can skip that dividing step and just multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of negative 4 fifths would be negative 5 fourths. You just flip it. So if I do that to both sides, negative 5 fourths times negative 4 fifths x equals negative 8. have to multiply this side by negative 5 fourths. That cancels with that, and that cancels with that. I'm left with x equals, here I would just make that as a fraction, put it over 1, so it, it looks like a fraction, I can remember that this is in the numerator. Simplify, that becomes 1, that becomes 2, so negative 2 times negative 5 would give me positive 10. And that is my solution. Here's some to try on your own. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.